to date, the trials that have been reported are in metastatic triple negative breast cancer, but the areas that remain unexplored are HER2 positive disease and hormone refractory, hormone receptor positive breast cancer. And I think that there are studies that are either planned or ongoing now that can help us understand the role of immune checkpoint inhibition in these subtypes of breast cancer. So I think those are data that are eager, eagerly awaited. I think also if combination therapy with other immune checkpoint inhibitors, vaccines, or other types of therapies that might all work together and synergize to improve on these response rates, I think are very exciting and hopefully will show that we can boost this response rate above 20%, much like what's been seen in, in melanoma. Anytime we see drugs that have monotherapy response rates in heavily pretreated patients with aggressive breast cancer, we get very excited. And certainly we've seen these interesting responses in heavily pretreated patients. Anytime we see that, we'd like to take those same therapies and move them up earlier on in treatment to see if we add immune checkpoint inhibition to early stage therapy, can we cure more women and prevent recurrences? And I really think that's where we're gonna be, where we're gonna be going with this in the next five to 10 years, and hopefully we'll have some data and some groundbreaking research in that way.